Hey, how's it going everyone? This is K Collections and today I have another awesome review for you guys. This is one of my personal favorite characters in anime, Yami Yugi from, of course, Yu-Gi-Oh! This is from Kotobukiya, a 1 7 scale. Relatively old figure, I do believe it came out maybe two years ago. I'm not quite sure on that, but uh, this is the Art FXJ line. Kotobukiya has a lot of uh, different lines, the Art FX, you know, they have Art FX for... Um, you know, the Marvel and DC lines as well, so they basically manufacture a lot of figures. But, nonetheless, here's a front of the box, you know, a nice uh, anime picture of Yugi in his signature pose. Here's a clear window display of Yugi himself. Here's the side of the box. Beautiful, beautiful promotional images of uh, Yami Yugi. Here you can see a Malin puzzle and other close-up shots. Here's the back, pretty simplistic there. I love the cutout of the Millennium Puzzle right there. All this is in Japanese. And the other side, and same thing here, the cutout of the Millennium Puzzle, Kotobukiya, 1 7th scale figure, back to the front. And for the top, here's just another picture of Yami Yugi. And the bottom, a bunch of uh, Japanese words. I personally don't know how to read it, but if you do, feel free to read the warnings. But alright, let's get this figure open and review it. So first, I just want to talk about how amazing the interior of the box is. You, got, you can actually take this out, but I love the gold coloring. It does have some glitter on it. Um, you know, and detailing looks great. You, know, you see some magician words right there. So very, very nice. It's a little too bright for me. I kind of wish they didn't put the glitter on it. Um, but totally fine still looks amazing but moving on to the accessories well first off here in the instructions there are some assembly required so always read the instructions for your figures but let's start with uh, his jacket so looking at his jacket it's a very glossy dark blue nonetheless it looks very good I love the curves and wrinkles here's the interior pretty simplistic the, I like the nice straps, um, right here is a silver painting, very detailed there. Overall very dark blue, I, I can't remember if um, in the anime his jacket was this dark, but nonetheless it looks very good, very detailed, neatly sculpted. Next, let me move up just a little bit. Next would be the signature dual disc, and I love the design and sculpt work for this. Let me turn this around. Beautifully sculpted, love the coloring and painting. Uh, you can see the deck right there. It is not removable, it's sculpted into it. Nice silver painting right there. Here's the bottom. This part, the linings are sculpted as well. Very good. And, you know, I, I love that they actually put the life points, 4,000. And I love where the, well, uh, for the dual disc, where you I forgot what this section is called, but you know, basically where you place the cards, it has a nice uh, light blue glow to it as it sent, goes towards the center. It's more of a lighter shade of blue around the edges, or a darker shade of blue, but it has a nice glow to it. Very beautiful there. And he does come with a few cards, or a card accessory. Here's just a single for when he draws. Very simple there, there's no pictures or anything. Paint it nicely. And here's just, uh, I guess, cards for his hands. They're all sculpted together. Looks nice there, and same thing. There's really no picture. But I'm glad they put some kind of, I don't know, design right here. And lastly, Yuki won't be Yuki if he doesn't have his signature Millennium Puzzle. So the Millennium Puzzle itself looks beautiful, beautifully sculpted all around. And this is an actual chain, which adds a little more realism to it. So I'm very happy that Kotobukiya, you know, connected it with a real chain. And uh, my only complaint, not really a complaint, but it will look a lot better, is if the Millennium Puzzle, uh, well, it is gold. It's not a metallic gold. I wish it was a little bit more brighter. Which it looks a little bit more metallic, you know, just to make it look a little better. But nonetheless, I'm still satisfied with this. Now, let's take an in-depth look onto the figure now. So here's the figure 
with all his accessories on. I'm just going to spin him around so you guys have a 360 view of the whole entire figure. Oh, if you're wondering why I'm wearing gloves right now, it's because it's like 95 degrees today. And I'm sweating a lot, so I didn't want to leave any marks or you know, damage his figure. Okay, let's start with the head. So, taking a closer look at the face. Beautifully sculpted. It looks like Yugi. The eyes are painted very nicely. For the hair, beautifully painted as well. It is two pieces that they glued together, the front portion and the back portion. And, you know, you can see some shades or different colors of yellow on the front of the hair. So I love the detailing there. You know, as you go towards the back, of course, it's black coloring. And here's the back view. What I like most about what they did with this figure is towards the bottom, there's lots of shading. And when you go towards the top, there's less shading. So it really diversify the coloring a bit. Looks beautiful right there. Now, moving on to the body, I know some of the accessories are in the way. Oh, talking about the accessories, it's very easy. In order to insert the dual disc into his left hand, you just unpeg the hand, you know, insert the dual disc onto his hand, and a drop. I'm going to talk about this, uh, that issue real quick um, later, about uh, the card dropping out of his hand. But um, back to the dual disc, you just insert the dual disc onto the left hand, and you just peg it in. Simple there. And for the cards, you just insert to insert it into his hand and that's one issue I want to talk about for his right hand for the single card it's very loose and I'll show you right here all you do is put it down like this but as you can see the thumb rarely, uh, barely even holds it up I don't know if it's just my my figure I can't really push it down any further uh, so it's barely you know, I guess any slight movement or touch will knock the card off his hand, but that's okay. I... Now, going towards the body, I'm not going to talk about the accessories. I know the Malin puzzle is in the way. Oh yeah, also in order to insert the jacket and the Malin puzzle, you have to unpeg the head, insert the jacket, and then the Malin puzzle, and put the head back into his body. But for his shirt, no simple black t-shirt, sleeveless shirt. Oh, I love the sculpt work. I kind of hit the camera right there. Apologize, guys. I'm all over the place. But it's very dark, but some nice wrinkles and curves. So I like the detailing there. For his belt, it is uh, silver painting right here. And his uh, belt that holds his uh, deck box, it is a softer piece of pa plastic. Right here, again, silver painting right there. Everywhere else is black. Here's just his deck box. Beautifully sculpted. And down towards his pants. It is a glossy dark blue as well. Although it's a different kind of blue. I wish it was a little more consistent. I don't know if you guys could tell on camera. But um, his jacket is a lot darker than his uh, pants. Uh, last time I remember his jacket is his school uniform or something. And both his pants and his jacket should be the same color, but they're both, uh, the pants is a little lighter, but still has a glossy finish to it. Looks really nice. And downwards to his shoe. Symbol again. Not really too much detail in there, but I do like the sculpt work and paint work. Now, his, he is attached to the base, so you can't remove him. But let's just take a look at the base. I love the cracks on the floor and are very detailed. As you guys know, I love you know, the base that has design to it, you know, especially with the environment or some kind of unique design. As I said in my previous videos, I really hate the simplistic uh, circular you know, clear plastic or just plain black stands or base. And another issue is, you know, because uh, how the chain is attached to the Millennium Puzzle, you, know, you will struggle a bit to have the front facing. You know, sometimes, you know, it'll move on its own towards the side, you know, which kind of sucks there. But, you know, sometimes just move it back so the Millennium Puzzle is facing forward. But overall, really good. Excellent figure. And I'm just going to get my 
Kotobuki, a Dark Magician girl, just to do a quick size comparison. They're both 1 7th scale, so they should look excellent together. So here's a side by side comparison with the Kotobuki, a Dark Magician girl. I did do a review on this already, so feel free to check it out. And I'm just going to measure Yugi's size with a ruler. I think I should do this in the, at the start of every video, but I'll probably start uh, for my other reviews. But he stands a little under 9 inches from the tip of his hair, so good size to him. And honestly, he looks great next to Dark Magician Girl. Kotobukiya did release a Dark Magician figure. And honestly, I'm going to get that as well just so I can have, you know, the signature, you know, Dark Magician and Dark Magician Girl, you know, with Yugi. You could, you could even, you know, use your imagination, you know, put Dark Magician Girl towards the front, Yugi towards the back, like he's summoning her or something. You know, have fun with it. And so, my final thoughts on this figure. It looks great. No regrets here. I was planning on picking up the Figma Yugi. However, uh, I think that was going for around maybe $50 to $60. I bought this on eBay for about $70 or so. So, you know, pay a little bit more, but I honestly want a bigger size figure or statue. So I decided to pick this uh, instead of the Figma. No regrets. Really no flaws. The only flaw I would say is that he can't really hold uh, that single card in his hand. Uh, one little tap or anything, it will fall off. Um, so that's the only issue there. Other than that, not too many issues. Uh, I guess one, another one would be the different color for the pants and uh, the jacket. You know, lack of consistency there, but I could look past that. But yeah, you know, I definitely recommend this figure to any Yu-Gi-Oh fans, especially if you love collecting figures. You know, if you love Yu-Gi-Oh, especially in the past, definitely pick this up. Right? It's Decent price um, compared to many other figures that's going for over $100. This more or less is still around $70, maybe $80 on Amazon. But yeah, highly recommend it. You know, big, big, big thumbs up. And if you like what you see here, you know, definitely hit the like button. Hopefully this review was helpful. And you know, definitely subscribe to my channel because I'm going to do a lot more reviews and unboxings. And as always, guys, you know, have an awesome day. Can't thank you guys enough. And comment down below. I always love, love engaging in conversations and discussion with you guys. It could be about anything, you know, Yu-Gi-Oh related or not, figure related or not. And I just like to chat with you guys, all right? But thanks again, guys. Have an awesome day.